No one understood artists, writers, performers, and the creative impulses of 20th century Paris better than Sidonie Gabrielle Colette. During her lifetime, she was a muse, actress, journalist, and writer who offered insight into then-forbidden subjects including courtesans, libertines, outcasts, and lesbian alliances. She could not be discredited because she had lived each existence. Although not classically beautiful, she was active in Paris's intellectual and artistic circles. Her vantage point into society provided her excellent inspirational material for her writings. Her nasty divorce from her first husband, Henri Gautier Villiers, left her nearly destitute in 1906. Villars, writing and posing under the name Villy, owned the exclusive rights, even though Colette had written the material. She struggled financially and toured France as a performer. During those years, she scandalized Paris with several high-profile lesbian relationships. She would marry twice more, and her final wedding in 1925 to Maurice Goudicek would last until the end of her life. But what a life! Her most famous works included two unconventional characters. Chéri was a kept young man who ultimately killed himself after leaving his older mistress. Gigi was a courtesan being groomed to entrap a wealthy lover. Instead, she would marry the man preparing her. Colette personally chose unknown actress Audrey Hepburn to play Gigi on Broadway in the title role. In 1958, a movie production starring Leslie Caron won the Academy Award for Best Picture. Colette spent her declining years crippled by arthritis and confined to her Palais Royale building apartment. She accepted visitations and numerous awards. Her writing style always stressed direct experience over invention and creative license. Many readers consider her to be the greatest female French writer of the 20th century. <laughs>